Five weeks before the Deepwater Horizon exploded on April 20th, BP and Halliburton knew something was potentially very wrong. That's the damning allegation from government investigators who outline a pattern of failed safety tests and non-communication. Specifically on March 8th, Halliburton notified BP the cement mix to seal the well failed a critical test for stability. Investigators say neither acted upon the data. Halliburton and perhaps BP should have considered redesigning the mix. Instead, BP ordered Halliburton to seal the well. The cement failed. Oil and gas entered the well. The explosion killed 11 workers and more than 200 million gallons leaked into the Gulf. This report suggests what one worker's widow maintained. The disaster was preventable. From day one, he deemed this whole well from hell. In fact, before the explosion, Halliburton actually tested the cement mix at least four times. The first three times, it failed. The last time, it passed. But BP never knew that because Halliburton never told them. Critics are outraged. BP and Halliburton knew that the cement was not going to work. This is like building a car with brakes that you know are going to fail. Investigators also independently retested a similar cement formula. It also proved unstable. The federal report concludes bad cement was not the explosion's sole cause, but good cement would have prevented it. Halliburton officials told us they're studying the report and will respond later. BP had no comment. Katie? Mark Strassman. Mark, thank you.